this call is now being recorded okay so hello everyone this is prasha and uh, aaj ki video mein we will discuss that how are we going to tackle the book 3 of frm part 2 that is operational risk and this book is completely theoretical so i will tell you that how can we manage to get a good quartile of around 1 or a 2 in this book so now many people say that this is completely theoretical and they are not able to retain the concepts in their head so i will tell you everything that uh, how can we manage it and uh, which chapters are important which portion is uh, which portion can be skipped which portion uh, needs more uh, needs more of your time which portion needs less of your time everything will be discussed in this video so make sure that you are seeing it properly and uh, uh and applying everything whatever i am telling so you will get a good quartile and if you will get a good quartile in this book you are uh, you are more closer to passing your exams because this book is the most important ones is the most important for frm part 2 as it comprises of 20% of the whole syllabus that is uh, around uh, from 80 questions 20% uh, around like 16 questions from 80 questions 16 questions will be asked from operational risk now the major concern is ki bacche bolte that hame yaad nahi rehta itna padhne ke baad we are not able to retain so sabse pehli baat to you are this is theory this doesn't mean that you are going to just mug up the things you need to understand the things you need to learn them properly then only you will be able to score the marks in the exam that is why uh, mugging up uh, because just because it is theory is not advisable if you are reading a chapter uh, my first and the foremost advice would be that aap usse acche se padhiye uske andar jo jo important cheeze hain usse sabse zyada acche se highlight kariye highlighting will help you a lot even when i was doing it i gave a may 2024 attempt and i remember that uh, while preparing for operational risk i highlighted every important point and in end i revised from all those highlighted points and uh, because of that only i got a quartile of 2 in this book so let me just tell you that how can we do it so let us first start that which book should we refer so first of all i don't uh, recommend that uh, use card because that is very much in detail and for exam if we will just study from schweizer it's very much enough because schweizer will give you a complete understanding of what the subject is what kind of questions can be asked and how you need to study everything is covered in schweizer so you can just refer schweizer for reading and uh, learning the content and uh, for uh, practicing the questions you can use analyst prep analyst prep ka question bank is very much useful if you will solve all the questions of analyst prep and uh, read the schweizer completely you are ready for at least for book 3 you are completely ready so you need to solve all the questions of analyst prep and how you have to solve that also i will let you know once we will discuss all the important chapters and important points while reading then i will let you know that how you have to solve the questions so in study session 7 uh that is uh, let me just take a highlighter so in the study se- study session 7 it is just going to give you an overview of what is operational risk so first chapter is not very important then again second chapter is important it is about governance that how that how should we manage risk in our company so it will give you a basic structure of everything about risk governance so this is important then uh, uh risk identification this is a normal chapter you can just read it not very important and here there is one part called as a operational risk taxonomies you don't need to remember all the taxonomies you can just go through that portion but you don't need to remember everything i am not highlighting it i am just letting you know that no need to learn in very much detail you can just go through this portion not the whole chapter only this module part that is covering taxonomies then uh, uh, again uh, this chapter is very important risk measurement and risk assessment 
that how are we going to assess the risk how are we going to manage the risk this is a very important question you can expect around one or two questions from this chapter then risk mitigation that how should, how can we eliminate or reduce the risk from our company this is a normal chapter you can just read it then risk reporting this is also a normal chapter now integrated risk management this is all about erm why is it important and uh, and how should and how should we properly uh, and how should we make uh, keep a proper erm in our company this is very important chapter so you need to do it properly now study session 8 it is uh, it is very small like it is not a small portion there are around 24 chapters and from that the major portion is covered in study session 8 but the, it looks like there are many chapters and it would be a very lengthy portion but no this is the most shortest portion of the whole syllabus because all the chapters are of around 4 to 5 pages nothing more than that and the, and uh, this session is uh, basically based on case studies and uh, nothing else moreover case studies and basic concepts so if you will do it nicely you can score good in exam now first chapter is cyber resilience uh, you just need to learn all the case studies over here there is no chapter which i would say which is very important over in this area but uh, what i would suggest is that uh, every reading might be having one or two case studies so you need to remember all the case studies and uh, you need to remember everything about that case studies like the name of the company with the, or the bank or what incident happened there so you need to remember everything so case study i am telling it means that you need to have the proper knowledge about that case study and uh, <laughs> based on that there might be some concepts you need to know about those concepts also and then there is one chapter known as stress testing banks this is not very important you can just read it yes now comes the most super important portion of the whole book that is capital and regulatory frame frameworks so now this chapter is very important and uh, here there would be some there would be more of practical part and both theory and practical but there would be 75% of practical questions over here and those are very basic plug and play questions like in exam you can expect basic plug and play questions from this uh, from this portion at least from reading 57 reading 58 sorry 59 and then 50 60 61 and 62 and 63 from here they will ask basic practical questions if you are having the flow of solving those questions you are remembering all the formulas and everything you will be uh, easily able to score in this portion so this is very important and around uh, around you can expect around five to six questions from this single portion of study session nine and all these chapters are important 59 60 61 then 62 63 i would say it is not very important but you can just go through those portions and then there is one chapter known as uh, range of practices and issues in economic uh, in economic capital framework now this is not a very important chapter you can just read it once and uh, leave it and if you want to skip it you can even skip it because there are 24 chapters you can't remember all the chapters so you can skip this chapter or just read it once nothing more than that is required and all the other 23 chapters i won't suggest to skip anything just read everything nicely highlight everything do all the questions do remember all the formulas in this uh, at least in the book of operational risk because these formulas are easy and uh, they will uh, and for after solving these questions they will uh, for sure increase your for sure increase your score because th in theory what i feel in level 2 the options are very close but for but in the practical portion you can score as much as you want so you just remember the formulas normal use of plug and play normally plug and play in those questions and you will be able to get the answer so this is very easy you just need to remember the formulas so you can in, for sure you can increase your score by solve by by solving practical questions
-hmm. Now, uh, now let me tell you that when should you do this book? So first of all, I recommend that you can do market risk or liquidity risk. And after completing one or two books, you can pick up uh, operational risk so that there is one flow of studies and then you will pick up this book. Now, this book is uh, this book is very much boring. Now, many people say it. I don't feel that this is boring at all. But then many people who are not very much comfortable with theory, they find this book very boring. So what I would recommend is, what you can do is you can divide your day into two portions. In morning, as people are fresh in morning, you can just give one or two hours to this book and complete your syllabus like this. And in evening time, what you can do is in the evening, again for half hour, you can give to the question solving or for half hour, not half year, sorry. For half hour, you can solve the questions from these chapters what you have done in morning you can just solve the questions from those from that part and after that whatever time you are left with after that you can pick some another book you can pick another book and start reading that book so that you don't find it boring and you are uh, you are uh, in the flow of completing the book also and this will not make you tired or make you feel bored also so this is the this is a very logical solution which i think i have given you but still the people who are comfortable with theory and are not finding this book this book boring they they can go in the flow and just complete it uh, just complete 24 chapters in around 24 to 25 days by doing one chapter in a day and then solving the question simultaneously after completing each chapter you can just pick another book if you find it boring on that day. So it's your strategy. Either do two books a day if you are doing operational risk or if you are comfortable with operational risk, you can just go in the flow and uh, read all the chapters together. But make sure that when you are doing this book, you are uh, you are in complete. You are having complete focus over the book only. You are not having focus somewhere else. So you need to make sure that when you are reading, you are happy, and you are completely focused on your studies. Because for the, uh, for operational risk, this is very important. You can't divert your mind. It is completely theoretical. Then, uh, what else? Uh, what else would I say that? Um, yeah. Then uh, for how to solve the questions, you have to solve the questions. Once you will complete one chapter, then simultaneously you need to solve the questions from analyst prep. And then you need to check your score. And what I would suggest is in operational risk, you should get a score of around 50 to 60%. And if you're getting that score, you are good. In this book, you are good. And you need to revise this book. Like once you have, once you have completed this book, Samjo, your, ex your exam is in May 2025. And you are done with the book in, uh, you are done with the book uh, in around January. And you are done in around January 2025. So you cannot just leave the book and start doing something and start doing some another book. You need to keep, you need to keep revision of this book. At least you can leave any book, but this book is very important and you need to keep it revising again and again. So Samjo, you, have, you are completing this book by 31st January 2025. So you still have four months in your hand. Now, if you think that you will again touch the book in March. So this is not uh, possible. You need to, you will forget everything. So to retain the things, you need to keep on revising the book. What you can do is in uh, night for every half hour before sleeping or before going to bed what you can do is in morning or in evening whatever time suits you you can keep a slot of 40, 30 to 45 minutes for you for yourself and uh, uh, not for yourself for this book and you can just sit with a book and just read the portion just keep reading the book if you will read the book you are good with the book and then then and then when one month would be left now you will be very much satisfied that yes i am very much comfortable with this book so revision is very important for this book and uh, and this is all if you just complete and if you just go with the solving this book like this 
you are not going to have any doubts you will be surely able to get a quartile of one or a two i myself have tried it and i have got a quartile of two so you can rely on this method and if any other doubts are there you can contact us at uh, at our institute i will be there to help you thank you